Give me five. Ah, give me ah, five. Give please me. stop. Like what you mean, bro? Oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> I'm literally ready. Good morning. Today we're filming a day in the life video. If you've been subscribed to this channel for a while, you know these day in the life videos, low key, I feel like it's what made my channel. I used to do college day in the life videos, intern day in the life videos, I don't know. Just endless day in the life videos. And normally those videos are supposed to show you guys what like a typical day in my life is like. But I'm gonna be honest, every single day in my life nowadays is so different. So I don't know if this is gonna be like a, a typical day in my life but no two days are really the same for me. Anyways, I just got coffee with Kelly. I need coffee in the morning. I, I literally do not skip a day. Coffee in the morning, try to get some food in my system so that I'm not tweaking. And yeah, right to work right after because I want to take advantage of the caffeine. But yeah, right now I'm going to go meet up with my friend Kelly. This is the reality of filming in New York. It's literally impossible. The audio is terrible. Please stop. All right, I'm going to go film with Kelly. Should be fun. Keep going around in circles. Running back this track again. Right back where we started. I can't see shit. Here we go. Mike and Elliot up. Elliot stays wired, stays strapped. Kelly uses these lav mics for his video. So whenever he wants to film, he just comes into my room. Put this on! Put this on, bitch! I say it way worse. Put this on, you freaking no, low life piece of shit. Glasses wearing, never posting, bitch! He's abusive, honestly. It's, Dude, on, it's so- Give me- ah, Give me fun! Ah, give me fun! Ah, give me ah, fun! Ah, Oh, dude, you're going to jail. No, I'm not. Dude, you're going to jail for sure. Hi, Colt. Hey. Tell me how you feel about working for this man. Honest opinion. Too many. He doesn't feed me or anything. Dude, I'm so sorry. Let's cry. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Nothing, man. This is a little behind the scenes action for you guys. Normally, we're filming like three, four days out of the week. And so, yeah, it's literally like, okay, we film one day for my channel, one day for Kelly, for Ashley, for Anne Marie. That's like three, four days of filming. No, it's not Sunday, it's Saturday, right? Yeah, Saturday. What the fuck is this for? Sneaker got a ticket. Dude, I don't know why you drive a car in the city. Why the fuck did I get a ticket? It's actually like, dude, you were gonna pay so much in tickets. Like, What you mean, bro? Oh my God, they're so stupid, bro. Dude, I honestly don't know why you drive a car in the city. It's like the most inconvenient thing ever. You will not catch me driving in the city. Tickets, trying to find parking, impossible. Like, actually impossible. Just, just take the board. You really have to ask you, why do you drive in the city? Because why would I take the train like a poor person? Ew, bro. Dude, just take a, just take a boosted board. Yeah, I'll take the ticket once in a while. Yeah, okay. All right, we are in Washington Square Park now. It is so busy. Saturday, weather's nice, a lot of people out. Are we filming here? Yeah. What are you filming? Ashley's coming to give me a haircut. Oh yeah, you need one for sure. Yeah. What the fuck is this? No. All right, so Kelly ran off. He's filming something with Ashley right now, but I feel like our days are always so interesting because I'm making this day in the life video. And usually I feel like if I make a day in the life video, for example, like my college day in the life videos, they're pretty representative of like what my actual every single day kind of looks like. But in this case, every single day is so different. Like some days we're just doing full filming days. Some days it's just like, okay, full editing. Some days I'm not doing anything for filming or editing. Sometimes it's like I'm working on copyright or it's like I'm taking calls. I don't know, it's just like always so different. It's really weird because I have just such a random schedule that sometimes it's really hard to schedule with people. It's a blessing and a curse because obviously I get to like control my schedule. I have the freedom to do kind of whatever I want, whenever I want. Still something I'm getting used to because again, every day is so different and you have to kind of like learn to navigate how to actually balance so many different things at once because yeah, like no one's really telling you when to do what. So. What I would do to take away Hi. this fear of being loved, allegiance to the pain. Now I fucked up and I'm missing you. I'll never be like you. Oh 
yeah. Hello. I would give anything to change this fickle-minded heart that loves fake shiny things. Now I fucked up and I'm missing you. Yo. I'm learning about jump shots, man, so we can play Dude, better. What the? And you're watching MGK play basketball? No, no. This is Lethal Shooter. He's a bas he's a shooting coach. He can coach the worst players in the world. Yeah, you definitely need that shit, bro. You want to play? You want to play basketball? Dude, look at me. <laughs> I'm literally ready. I'm hungry. I'm ready. You take forever. What are your legs? Dude, I would let Steph Curry sleep with my wife. Literally my dream. Me and Steph. Yeah. That's your dream? Your dream is for Steph Curry to sleep with your wife? No, no, no. <laughs> what the my fuck? What is, kind of dream is that? My dream is for Steph Curry to say, do what excites. That's your dream? That's my Dude, dream. just go on like cameo or some shit. You're weird. Alright, can we? Yeah, let's go ball. I don't have a lot of free time, but when I do, I actually love going to the pier and playing basketball. Usually with Kelly, especially now that it's getting warm, I'm like basketball in the summer next to the pier with the water. One of my favorite things. Picked up a dandelion. You had me mesmerized. You and me, so pretty. Just when I start to like you, you just get up and leave in the breeze. Why'd you leave? Picked up a dandelion. You had me mesmerized. You and me, so pretty. Just when I start to like you, you just. Some days I'm out and about the entire day. I get home and I'm exhausted. And some days I literally wake up, I walk over here and then I start working and then I don't leave this desk the entire day. I talked about this earlier, but it's kind of weird not having like a super consistent schedule. And usually most days, like after I finish a whole day of work, after I eat some dinner, I usually come back and finish up some work. I always have like a few things that I want to do every single day. And I think that's super important, like having a priority list. Usually if I write down like a list of 10 things I really need to do, Two things on that list are super important and everything else I can either do another time or ask someone else to do it for me. And yeah, it's like usually not stuff I really need to be focusing on. So something I've gotten really good at is prioritizing, figuring out what's actually important for me to work on. And if I finish the one or two things that are actually important to me, at the end of the day, I'm like pretty happy with my progress. So I guess the comparison for me when I was in college was like, okay, like if I have a list of things to do, maybe like three of those things, just like stupid homework assignments. And then that one thing that I really need to do is like study for that midterm I have tomorrow. But obviously I'm out of school now, so that's not what I go through now. But actually like that one thing or two things that you really need to do that you don't really wanna do, that's all you really need to do to have like a productive day. So yeah, I try to focus on that stuff. And then of course, like later in the day, like right now I would probably just work on some of that busy work where it doesn't require too much mental energy, but I can still put on some music and just get it done. It's weird because like, these are the days when I'm actually happiest. The days when I wake up, I start working, and I get stuff done the entire day, and then I go to sleep really tired, but also really happy about all the stuff that I got done. Those are the days where I'm like going to sleep really happy. And my goal is really just to create more of those days. I'm not like a complete workaholic. Like I do try to have a work-life balance. And honestly, I feel like I'm pretty good at it. Not gonna lie. So <laughs> I don't know what it is, but um, yeah, I'm, it's not like I work. 24/7. But also, I have a very important announcement, some very exciting news. I am actually going to be restocking season four of copyright. We're going to restock the latest collection. I, I really said I was going to do it, but I have been getting thousands of messages of people asking for this restock. Every day I look at my DMs, and the only thing you guys are talking about is, Elliot, where's the restock? Where's the restock? So yeah, I ordered some more stuff. It's ready to ship. This is really the last restock I'm going to do on this. So if you want anything from this collection, it's the last chance. The store, we're going to open it at 5 p.m. Eastern on Friday, April 8th. And we really just ordered a limited amount. So if you want it, set a timer, 5 p.m. April 8th. We're going to open the store for 24 hours. But honestly, most of it gets sold out in the first hour usually. So if you really want it, set a timer. I, again, I really wasn't going to do this restock, but so many people were asking for it. So hopefully you guys can get it if you wanted it. And huge thank you always to everyone who chooses to support copyright. I feel like as this channel grows, it's actually like hard for me to grasp the idea 
that over a million people are subscribed to this channel and watch these videos. The number is just like so absurd to me that it's not until people actually like come up to me on the streets or leave comments or send me DMs where I start to realize like, okay, there's like real people watching these videos. And I know this sounds absurd and of course there are people watching these videos, but a lot of times it just gets condensed down to like a view count. And I know that there's so many of you guys out there that support me and actually watch these videos. And yeah, whenever you guys like engage or send me DMs or comment, whatever it may be, it, it really like reminds me why I do this. I think recently I had a huge mindset shift which of course on YouTube, there's a lot of pressure to kind of like chase views and make sure you're growing your channel. But honestly, the reason I started making videos was literally just to try to provide as much value as possible. And I'm on this new wavelength where, you know, in the process of me trying to become happier and more successful, if I can help anyone along the way, where if I learn things about how I might become happier and more successful, and I share that with you guys, you guys can get some residual value and also become a little bit happier, a little bit more successful. So I don't have agenda, like really, I'm just trying to make videos have fun, but also hopefully there's some positive impact. But yeah, I've, I've really kind of regained that side of me and I think it's super, super important and a big part of this channel. So I'm excited to get into that. And you know, fuck retention graphs and fuck views and screw all that shit because honestly, I don't really care. Everyone says you're supposed to care about that, but I don't. Genuinely. Anyways, look forward to that. I'm gonna stop ranting, but uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Hopefully, stick around. Please. Bye. Everyone has to unsubscribe if you make it. <laughs>